five and eight. Um, when you look back at a season, you look back at this as a win and not what it was, which was a, a very ugly basketball game that we were able to gut out. Uh, gut out, meaning that uh, we played with some toughness tonight, a little bit of belief. We had 16 offensive rebounds, and we had three charges. We had multiple dives on the floor. We tried to take other charges. Uh, I'm really happy with some of our effort, uh, but by no means was that a masterpiece. Uh, but we'll take the W and we'll move forward. Libby's effort tonight, not just with her point scoring, which is just shy of the career high, but her rebounding tonight was, although some of them hit her right in the face like a magnet, she still was able to get her double-double, and she really, really showed the day. Just what did you make of her effort and the belief that you have in her? Well, there's a reason why she played 35 minutes, the most minutes on the team. Uh, that ball might have been coming right to her face like a magnet, but there's a reason why that ball is coming towards her. It's because she's moved her feet prior to that, and that split second to second before that to be in position uh, to know where the ball is coming off the rim. Uh, to have six offensive rebounds as a guard, that's exceptional, and that's all about effort. A little bit of, a little bit of in, intuition uh, and, uh, and a lot of just getting to the glass and not accepting being boxed out and not accepting just standing and watching. Uh, six offensive rebounds is from a guard, from your point guard. It, that's the best stat of the night. That might be the best stat of the year. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, yeah. The way the team won, where they were forced to make plays in just about every single aspect at every single point of the game, you mentioned it a little bit at the top with your opening statement, but just to have this game where literally you had to play to the final second will do what for this team? Uh, you, we have not performed up to what our capabilities are, as everyone knows. And to be able to gut out a game where I bench you in the first half for lack of energy. Because all I asked for from the team before the game began was toughness and energy. And when I put her in the game, we didn't have energy. And I, I'm not going to accept that anymore. She doesn't have any merit to stay in the game. Going forward, she could have scored 12 and, and really helped us, and she did. She scored 12, and she did some really, really good things. But if I put her in the game against Bonaventure and there's not immediate energy, she's going to sit down and she's going to hear my wrath again. And that's just not Yutsa, that's anybody on our team. And, and so uh, you know, we're really going to have to play with toughness and energy as we continue to find our confidence again in finding ways to win in tight ball games like we did tonight. And, uh, and then enjoying the win. You, you have to enjoy wins. And uh, we haven't been able to do that as much as we would like over the course of the uh, last month. 25 not playing for Temple tonight. Uh, her leading, She was obviously the leading scorer and rebounder for that team. How, if at all, did that affect you? Well, it affects everything that you do because she's such a good basketball player. Uh, you've game planned for two days with her in mind. So it changes things around, but it makes it a lot tougher on Temple because you're taken away a lot of points and a lot of rebounds and, and really the focal point in her offense. The kid only has five assists on the whole season. So, you know, she's not a kid that's going to give it up. And so once she catches it, it's going to be instant offense for them. Uh, so I think it's much more challenging for them. For us, uh, we had to adapt to what others were going to do in new roles where we were not going to be prepared for. So that's another positive. You mentioned to me before the game that Seeing Hamilton one line stuck out with you, and that was talk less, smile more. How much do you think your team embraced that tonight? Um, talk less, smile more. Um, yeah, they say that a lot through Hamilton, and uh, I took that away from being at the show last night. Uh, I certainly didn't talk less or smile more to you, so. Uh, <laughs> um, but that may be the way that we have that I have to coach you. So, and, and I think she understands that I love her. And, and but I, I I've got to jump her sometimes. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I just know that I'll search for every answer that I can to to motivate any kid on our team uh, to have success uh, because it's going to take the entire roster. And there's a couple that don't feel that, you know. Uh, but it's going to end up taking the entire roster, and everyone's going to play a key role at some point as we go into Atlantic 10 play. Schematically, defensively, just 
mixing up looks, how much of an effect was that as part of the play and given their speed and maybe a confidence in where you guys are at at a defensive side of the ball? Well, I want to play man-to-man. -man. And uh, against an athletic team like this that drives it well, and we're known for as a team that doesn't defend the drive well, uh, we've got to learn how to do that. And we're going to learn how to do that. And we're going to do it now, this year, this Atlantic 10 season. I don't want to sit back in a zone. And so we played some zone, and uh, it wasn't nearly as many possessions as it has been in the past uh, in a game, and uh, I think you'll see that going forward also. You mentioned you might play hot hands or you might play kitchen sink, and it was more kitchen sink tonight. Just is that maybe what it takes to tell them, look, there's no leash, This the leash is gone, and I'm, act and I'm going to act on it, and now I'm acting on it? Yeah. And I mean, it, you know, I think Chas saw that. I think Amanda Kalen saw that. You know, you can't go one for four. You can't go one for six. And you gave it, you know, live so late. You can't go 0 for four and, and expect to play more than 14, 15 minutes. I, I, I've given you enough. Uh, you got to give me something now. Uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, you got to please me. And, how, and pleasing me is putting the ball in the basket and guarding people. I want you to be happy, but at the end of the day, you got to please me, and that's how you please me, by putting the ball in the basket and sitting down and guarding people and rebounding. And so if it's not working for you, you're going to have a seat, and uh, we'll, probably be the, we'll probably be the kitchen sink for a while and because we haven't had a game where we've had four. I don't even know if we've had a game where we've had three people really shoot the ball well. Uh, we've had two, we've had one, and we've had some people take volume and, and and get some scoring through volume sh shooting. But to have three kids go four for six or five for seven, we haven't had that this year. And, th and that's one of the reasons why we're six and seven. How much was the foul to give there uh, on what ended up being the second to last play, just an awareness of the clock and realizing that was there and maybe have a sneak peek of what they were trying to do for that final shot? Uh, you know, I think it was incredibly important. Uh, you know. We, and this blame the coach, we have not practiced that enough, and that's completely on me. Uh, but our kids executed it well. Uh, when Amanda Kalen fouled, I was yelling for her to foul at that point, and, and blame me again. Uh, I was worried about Desi Oliver, a Penn Hills product for them, uh, driving it and being the hometown hero. And so, you know, I, I wanted us to foul. I just wish it would have been just one second later, because then it would have been almost impossible for them to get a clean look and a shot off. Uh, but, you know, credit to the kids that were out there and they, they defended it and really didn't get a great look and we were able to come away with the win. Thank you for supporting women's basketball. Appreciate you being here.